Hello there everyone, this is Nega Knight here getting ready to play Icarus. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and all that. And today we're going to be checking out the mission to unlock this, the Daylight Olympus Outpost, which supposedly unlocks the entire map of Olympus for you to use as an outpost. And in order to do that, you have to do the Nightfall Survey, which means you have to go on here and get all the way to the end of the map here. Yes, I do think I can do that, and since I'm pretty much not caring about completing, or I'm not caring about the rewards, I'm going to try and make this rather easy on me, so I'm going to have easy just to reduce everything to make this mission quicken, because what I want is the outpost, not the mission. The mission I don't care about, so or the rewards, plus you only have about a day to complete it so let's claim it let's get all the stuff I normally need and then from there we'll decide what we're gonna be doing and uh, you know what let's take these and I don't think I need to worry about this since I don't really see the bosses ever but I am gonna want probably movement so let's get in let's do my normal stuff that i normally do and then from there i'll show you the checkpoints and point areas you need to get to i'll show the little bit of the intro story once it starts up but for now i'll see you in a little bit yes i do know what you're saying and it looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with so let's get everything like normal set up, equipped, and all that fun stuff. And the, now that you heard a little bit of the story intro, let's get going. Oh, it tells you uh, the cooling rain stuff. Nice. Alright, I'll see. Well, actually, first let's check the map. We have one location right over here. And is there any equipment I need to... Oops. Nope. Okay, so I'll see you once I'm at the next location. No. Oh, I already uh, made it. To recover a prototype battery from crash drop ship. Travel to the map location. Retrieve atmosphere sensitive geocrystal. Defeat apex creatures of Olympus. Kill the alpha wolf, the sandworm, and the scorpion. So, I'm not sure what. Oh, I need to get this cargo pod. And if you're looking for it, it's down here with the L M M. It's pretty much right next to the top corner of the lake here. And... Wait, what? Recovery prototype from the crash drop ship. Oh. Oh, wow. I got to run all over the map. Holy flip nuggets. I got to go over to here over there and 
over here. That that's probably the sandworm. That's the scorpion that by based on that, and that's the alpha wolf. This is gonna be a little bit of a multi-parter episode, or not multi-parter episode, but this is a lot of work to unlock the map. I'm assuming that is uh whatever you call it exotics so i think i have to go way way up north towards here that is a long flipping way i'm gonna mark that on the map oops and i'll probably make a stop through here although that's most likely in the aquatic zone, so I'm gonna pro it, or not aquatic, but a uh, snow biome, which means I'm most likely gonna skip that. So I'll see you either at that point if I get to it, or at the other point and grab the other stuff. Uh, well, I found the thingy. And this is what it is, a strange bloom, a highly unusual blossom, possible from beyond the Terra Zone. So apparently it's a type of exotic flower, maybe? Wait, what the hell is it? What? Atmospheric sensitive geocrystal formation. Oh, okay. So you're going to need these anyways. And they seem to decay very, very fast. Okay, so of how fast this decays, you're going to need a bunch of them. Actually, you're going to need pretty much a max number of them, and you're going to have to sprint back by the looks. Since I can't really do much with these right now, it looks... So this is an important thing, and you got to run back to here. So this is the path that I took. I don't know where it's come up around here, run through there run through here and go through there. You can also potentially go through another route some this way, but I don't know. But this is a, the quest item, so you're gonna need to come here at some point and... Stupid wolves. Okay, I hope they're gonna there's gonna be more coming pretty soon so craft one of these so on average you have about 20 seconds per one which means 100 times 20 is what you roughly have in order to make it back so i'm gonna wait on this part here i'm gonna get this when I on my way back from this so let's get moving again oh I was not I'm glad I turned this down to easy otherwise I probably would have been dead by now because winter is a pain in the butt so if you're wondering where it is, it's down in this little hole in the little cubby area. Oops, over the head. In the head just before it shows up. At this point, I might as well just start killing all these creatures. Oh, there we go. Took several shots, but... Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of wolves. All right, well, anyways, now that I've showed you the little area you need to go for the crew part of the mission, you can it's right down in here and as you can see body 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 
body, 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 body. And potentially more bodies right there. All right. I'll see you once I'm on here and then I'll come back. I'll grab these and then I'll do the quest part here. And then after that, I should be ready to take on the uh, creatures. So I found the next point and you can see it by this little smoke area here. So I'm going to go and fetch this and I'll show you on the map. So it's right up in here. Way up in here. And the route you can take effectively, if depending on how you want to do this, you can pretty much go around the uh, place and potentially fight the scorpion first on the way to it. Or you can take up around here, fight the sandworm, and then come over and grab this. And then you can run down, grab that. Then run through here and go to that but no matter what you're gonna have to go through the cold area so you're gonna want if you don't have armor by this point that can withstand the cold you're gonna want to have to set up a small little base probably over here somewhere get cold resistant equipment sprint on through here go up grab that come back down grab that run around here go to here complete that after that you can go to the wolf and then pretty much to the scorpion and then cut up and around to the sandworm that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing myself but I just wanted to show you guys this and what it looks like and there is no noticeable features to be able to tell you this other than look for a little bit of a smoke. So what do we have? We have an experimental battery unit. And so far it looks like these are actually... Oh, and if you're lucky and you're doing this with someone who has anti-spoil. Uh, what is it? Talents? Here we are. Minus 50% rate of food spoiling. For some reason, these quest items count as a food. Without that spoil time, they spoil in 15 seconds. With the spoil time reduction thing that I have, they last about 22. So I'm going to run back. I'm going to go complete the first part of this quest. In other words, deposit the items in the central survey unit. And then after that, it's killing the enemy's time. So I'll see you again in a little bit. Alright, I got... I'm back and I have some of the stuff still left over, thankfully. Uh, so, like I said before... These uh, go decay quick. They, you get about 25 minutes in order to get them back. And that's if you don't have the decay thingy. Alright, so now that this is done, all I have left is to kill the bosses. Which means it's time to go... Or the alpha wolf down here. Also, I'm going to recap everything that I've done and give some of my suggestions on what you might want to do in the process. So if you want to look at that, stay tuned. For now, let's get to the boss. So I'll see you and that once I'm there.
All right, well, I'm at the Alpha Wolf location, which is nowhere near where I expected it to be. There's the Alpha Wolf cave or caves. I'm not sure if it'll come at night or if it spawns right now or what. I'm going to build probably a small little home near or not a home, but a small little base here. So I can at least respawn in the event of a death. So let's find a little bit of a flat ground or kind of flat ground. And then let's set up some walls real, real quick. A door. All right. Now let's set a roof, which right here. And yep. All right. And then we can set right here and right there. So we got all this. Now let's get this set up. And then let's get a bazillion of these made, which I'm actually surprisingly low on leather, which is fine. I've got plenty enough of everything else. The reason why I'm making this is 63 to 70 damage on top of plus 25 versus 49 to 55. Oh, no, never mind. That's a different 54 to 60. How does this have a 30% chance to break versus the bones, which have 20? That doesn't make sense. Okay, there we go. And it looks like I, I should technically be getting some leather. Now let's repair this. Let's repair this. And let's figure out what the hell to do with this wolf. And what's, what's going to happen? All right. I probably should want to set up some of this stuff. And where's my repair hammer? Okay. Oops. No. I don't want to drop that. Crafting. Oh, we need fiber. Oh. And we need this. All right. That should be my spawn point. We're going to need this and this. We're going to switch out this to these. And we're going to figure out what the hell happens. Oh. really would like to not deal with the polar bear, but does he only come out at night? Alright, well, I gotta figure out how to summon them out. Now, hopefully, it's not through nighttime. Oh, that's how. Uh, yep. Oh, 
He lost sight of me. <laughs> That's perfect. I can get him right on the nose. If he doesn't flip and flee that way. Come on. There we go. Sweet. That's perfect. As long as he doesn't go and heal, I can actually... Kill him. Ah! Okay, hopefully I could deal enough damage before... He... Ah. Okay, so that's what I need to do then. I need to actually set this down closer. And hopefully I can heal enough damage. What? Their effort. Stop flipping healing. There we go. That's the wolf down. All right, on to the next boss. Speaking of, before I leave, it, this is where the Alpha Wolf is located, which means in the basically you're going to need cold weather no matter what. All right, let's get going. Uh, yep, I believe that way. All right, well, we're at the scorpion. Holy mother flip nuggets. Ow. I was not. Uh, uh, ah, I hate that. I have no clue where the hell he went. Oh, right there. Yes, hello there.
As long as he doesn't actually come on, pop up again. I, I... Oh, there we go. As long as he does not attack that, I can deal a lot of damage and hopefully kill him, especially when I get a crit strike. the charge please don't hit that oh ah. nope Gotta hurry up and get on this. That's when I get lucky is when he pops. Oh, hello, little guys. Scorpion is about the hardest boss to fight so far. Oh. Ah. No, please, no. Ah. Uh, hi. Ah. Uh, holy flip nuggets. That's some air. Ah. Uh, there we go. He's dead. Thankfully, I had it on easy because my goal is to... Uh, complete the mission. Thank you. Okay, so. I would like to get these arrows back. Alright. So, I should have made that three tall instead of two tall, which means... That will be able to take on the scorpion so long as it doesn't charge out that base. And the location is right here. It still pops up from the ground like it does, which means you'll chances are you'll get stuck and all that fun stuff. So... We're on to the next boss. We're almost done. We just have to travel 8 bazillion miles up to the worm. Which the worm is one of the easiest bosses to deal with. You don't even have to build a stupid little contraption like that. You just gotta be capable of sidestepping it. And just pelting it with arrows and then you're good to go. Oh, oops, I forgot I built a little base over here because I was afraid I was going to die. So I'm going to go grab that and I'll see you at the next boss fight. All right, well, this is supposedly where the worm is at. And it definitely is...
So let's get this. Oop. Ah, too too slow. So let's get this fight over with. Oops. Got him. Oh, I hate that. Oh, nice. The elephant is... It looks like the elephant's trying to help. Why are you spitting so much? There we go. Whoa, hey there. Why the hell are you attacking, you stupid... Elephant? Ah, that stupid elephant. There we go. when it multi-strikes. What? Or maybe I should have chose the anti-poison. Stop spitting. Okay, so far the worm's the hardest, and that's just because it keeps spitting for some weird... What the hell? Was that supposed to be, like, a crit kill shot? Nope. Oh. Oh, hello. Come on. I've littered you with arrows. Why? 
what the hell am I? Dang it. Ah, I get the worm is apparently the hardest one of the all of them. Holy f! I've been pelting it with arrow after arrow after arrow after arrow. And I went through one bow and through the next. I wonder if the boss is bugged because it should have died. All right, let's go grab my stuff and hopefully I can kill it. Oh, finally. All right, well, that's that. And I got a lot of junk all over the place. Now let's head back. So that's where the location of the worm is. So now I just got to head south down this way and head over to here. And I'll recap everything I've done so far. And I'll also give my recommendations. I just better get into shelter real quick.
All right, well, I made it back. So it's time for a recap about the most important information. One, you're going to need pretty much cold resistant equipment, at least in the beginning. And the reason why I say that is because you're gonna wanna come down to here and then depending on how you wanna do it, you can go through here, I believe, up around up this is part of the mission so yes you're gonna have to go here but i recommend getting that on the way back so continue past that go up out and grab that then when you grab that come back down through here grab that then come back around to here and deploy that so that's the first part important information is the second part is well, you're going to need the winter equipment still because if once you have the winter equipment, you can come down here and into here and kill the uh, wolf, the alpha wolf, which I did not expect to be there. Then once you've killed that, you have your choice of the scorpion or the death worm or the, the worm, which... I recommend waiting, getting, now here's the most important part for, for fighting the worm. You want to get poison resistant equipment. So if you have armor that's poison resistant, equip it. If you got ex auxiliary equipment that reduces poison, put it on. And if you have the ability to craft poison resistant stuff, use it or craft it because the worm, no matter where you go on the worm, it spits poison and it will kill you if you do not have poison resistance. I found out the hard way. The scorpion is actually kind of easy. A lot easier than the last time. But I did have this all on easy. So, and that's because I didn't care about the mission. I just wanted to unlock it. The scorpion, you build my little sniper perch. You build it three high and then extend it out and you'll effectively kill the scorpion with almost no trouble as long as it doesn't take out your the sniper perch. So that one's actually pretty easy. The alpha wolf is pretty easy. The squ this one is the hardest, at least for me. So I've recapped the route that I took which was through here, back through here, down there, around there, round up here, grab that, and then back through here to here. So I've completed the mission. I've shown you guys how to do it. So now it's time to return the station, complete the mission, and show you the best outpost there is. Yeah, as you can see, difficulty, easy, minus 50% rewards. I didn't care about the rewards. So let's hurry up and get this all done. And I will tell you, 90% of the mission has been running. As you could see from all of that, it was run, 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 run. Just constant running. Oh, and they removed the ability to abandon prospects, which means if you do uh, avoid the mission, your character dies unless you have insurance. And most of you probably already know about this, but because I was at military training, I didn't know about the new bow they added, which I really want, because that means the problem is, is I don't want to have to deal with these they're not worth it you get five of them so they cost about 10 each and they're consumable if they if they didn't if they costed uh ren like 50 ren that would be amazing and then they have bleed slow so if you s slow the enemy then bleed the enemy 
you'll be able to effectively kill it. And then you could also blow up a group. So now let's go to Outpost. Wait, what? Something's wrong. Uh... I completed this. What? I completed this. Oh, you mother flip nuggets. Okay, well, here's the most important of all. Complete the mission on medium or no on normal. Otherwise, you're not getting the stupid mission completed, apparently. Because this is still locked. <sighs> Flipping four hours to do all that. Alright, well, I'm going to have to complete that mission on the side. I at least showed you it, and I also told you I found out the most important of all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If not, well, please pass it on to people you think will. Because out there, there's always someone who likes something that you may not. Anyways, hopefully you guys come back for more and continue to watch. Right now, I'm absolutely annoyed as hell that they don't, didn't recommend the stupid flipping difficulty rating you needed to unlock it. So all that work for absolutely nothing. Well, actually, never mind, not nothing. I learned that I'm going to need poison resistance to fight the worm. Anyways, bye bye.